This channel is proudly partnered with the What The Funk shop. Please check out their store for all sorts of products. They have miniatures, dice, game master screens, home decorations and many other things. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. And make sure that you use my code for a special discount. Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring Fading Suns The Carter Book. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this sci-fi passion play tabletop RPG, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the goal rolls. When a character performs an action, the player attempts a goal roll to determine if it is a success or a miss. This roll is made with a 20-sided die. You'll need a goal number for the roll. You figure it by adding the action skill and characteristic pair together. Since skills are rated from 0 to 10, and characteristics are rated from 3 to 10, this gives us a goal number somewhere between 3 and 20. The base goal number is equal to the action straight pair, but this may be modified by situational factors. Some modifiers make the roll more likely, others make it more unlikely. The die roll result must be equal to or less than the goal number for the action to be successful. If the result is higher, the roll is a miss, and you fail the action. If the roll is a success, the die result tells you directly how many victory points you gain. That is, the number rolled on the die is the number of victory points generated by a successful roll. Missed rolls don't generate BPs and cannot deliver any impact. Remember, BPs are victory points. Note that goal rolls should only be called for in meaningful circumstances, where the outcome is uncertain and talent and skill make a difference. Concerning modifiers, occasionally, a goal roll is modified by a bonus, making it more likely to succeed by adding to the goal number, or a penalty, making it harder to succeed by subtracting from the goal number. As a general rule, the game master should avoid modifying goal rolls. Although, as always, context is king. Factors that might modify a goal roll include perception conditions such as darkness, fog, physical or social states, the effects of a drug or poison, etc. Now, when it comes to environmental conditions, they might modify your roles, and you have information here to serve as guidelines for that. Environmental conditions usually modify your roles in the form of states, such as deafness, blindness, having your movement hindered, etc. Now, if penalties reduce your goal number to zero, a die roll result of one still succeeds. The pan creator looks out for the most deprived. Such a desperate roll, however, cannot score a critical hit. It does yield one victory point, though, if it is successful. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about favorable and unfavorable rolls, as well as critical hits and critical misses. As you can see, the goal roll is very simple. You roll a single die, and it is modified, perhaps. That's it, you obtain a result, and you see if the action is carried out successfully. Thank you for watching this part of the review, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, consider joining as a member or using the super thanks button. You can also check out the pinned comment below. This has been Abraham L. Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, roleplay solves everything. Once again, thank you and see you later.